Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA 5 video, we're going to be talking about the real reason why GTA Online never received a Cops and Crooks update. Which, in case you guys aren't caught up, there was a ton of rumors and cryptic clues, hints, and speculation that Rockstar was going to do either a police or a cop or a law enforcement themed update for the summer of 2020. And we even found a ton of little hints and clues inside the files that were added in the Los Santos Summer Special, suggesting that that is indeed what Rockstar was going to do. But as you guys know, the Los Santos Summer Special is not Cops and Crooks. So it makes you wonder, what happened to this update? Why didn't we get it? Will we ever see it in the future? And what may have been the reason why Rockstar decided to not go with that update? Because I think it's pretty clear that it would have been a very successful DLC. I mean, for years now, people have been asking and they've been role-playing as cops and law enforcement. And there's lots of things in game that would work perfect. Government agencies, prisons, lots of police stations, police departments, police outfits, vehicles, cars that we could customize and upgrade. So much. And so this, again, has prompted the question, what was the real reason for it not arriving? And we heard from a user on the GTA forum site, Rolsha2282, data miner, super good at looking into the files of the game. And he's told us what really happened to this DLC, to the Cops and Crooks update. So it all started a couple of days ago when someone ended up asking, I had a thought, what if the new heist was Rockstar's plan for the summer, but the pandemic ruined it? Just like almost everything having to do with summer, so they pushed it back to December because of issues with production and rush a backup update to fill in the gap and he said nope the new heist was always planned for December and the intended summer update was cops and crooks which got canned slash shelved because of the protests so talking about the December update and how it was always supposed to be the new heist I believe that's 100% true I feel like at the very beginning of the year Rockstar was like this is what we want to do for summer this is what we want to do for the end of the year so I always believe that that heist update and an entirely new location was going to happen in the month of December at the end of the year. But I also do believe that the summer update was originally going to be Cops and Crooks, just like he'd stated, which he believes got canned or shelved because of the protest. Now, I don't believe or even know if Rockstar will ever come out and say like, hey, this is why we officially did it. But I think this is the most obvious answer and whether they just deemed it was inappropriate at the time or that it didn't fit with the culture that was going on in the world, we might never know. Rockstar is probably the only ones behind closed doors that officially know that answer. But it does beg the question, will this update ever appear again? Because we know that Rockstar is going to be releasing GTA 5 again for the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series S and Xbox Series X. And that there's going to be more updates when the game arrives on those platforms. And there's even going to be exclusive updates for when the game arrives on that platform. So maybe this is something that Rockstar has just put in their back pocket. And they're thinking to themselves, okay, when things settle down, when things roughly return to normal, if there will be a normal, that this is something we could come out with. And that players would be able to enjoy in the appropriate setting. So that's the first thing he said. Now, there were still a lot of people that were unsure if this actually was the case. One user saying, I'm still not convinced that this is true. And him ended up saying, it is literally written in the files as a dev comment that the cubed minigame was supposed to be a part of the Cops and Crooks pack. You can't have more proof than that with it being next to all the other small clues from the files. So let's talk about that last thing first. A lot of the other small clues he's talking about are like siren sounds, and various like cop outfits getting de-blacklisted, stuff like that. There's also been other lines of code found that suggest we'd be able to customize and modify police cars. It looks like there's mysteriously missing icons that were also found in the Los Santos Summer Special. These are all things we've touched on in previous videos and have outlined, again, just how much proof there is in the files that something like this was in deep production. And the cubed minigame file is probably the biggest clue we have because it's literally just right there, right in the game. In fact, there was even more follow-up to that specific point with that same user saying, okay, well, it's very frightening to me that they canceled what could have been one of the best DLCs. I do agree about that. 
Uh, maybe we will get it on next gen next year, which is what I just said earlier. And he said, here is you wanting to see the comment again. This line was a comment by a dev, which was meant to be a part of the Cops and Crooks DLC pack. And you guys can see literally in the files of the game, it says cubed minigame Cops and Crooks pack. There you go. So that was literally left by one of the developers of Rockstar. They forgot to remove it. So I think it is very clear and obvious that a police theme law enforcement update was going to be planned, and that was Rockstar's original intentions. And the last bit of follow-up that we'll be talking about today, that same user said six to eight months isn't enough time to make a DLC. Maybe two months of that time, they couldn't do mocap, but that's it. And he said, do you have any idea how game development works? Cops and Crooks was the planned update for the summer. Believe the files or don't, I don't care. And the protests started happening in late May while they were already in heavy development of the update. They probably still worked on it a while after the protest started, but then either Take-Two or higher-ups decided to shelve it. So let's say the decision to shelve it happened a few days into June, which then gave them around two months to think of an update, develop it, test it so no major bugs are in it, and remove almost any Cops and Crooks mention or feature. Obviously, they missed some. That is not a long time. Okay, so there's a lot to break down here. Starting with Cops and Crooks was the planned update for the summer, and we don't know who at Rockstar or their parent company, Take-Two Interactive, said you can't go through with this DLC. It could have been the Rockstar developers. It could have been the Rockstar bosses. It could have been Strauss Zelnick himself calling up and saying, like, hey, guys, you can't do this. I know this sucks, but it's not appropriate at this time. And that probably is when it started happening, when the decision to remove it from the game or at least remove it from being a potential update, probably around May or June which again would only give them two months to develop an update. So now transitioning to the Los Santos Summer Special, for those of you guys that are wondering like why the update doesn't have like a lot of content at all, that's why. It's because they only had two months to basically come up with all the new content. So that's why you basically just see adversary modes. It's why you see like the new yacht missions that don't feature really anything new. They're basically just like glorified Gerald contact missions. So nothing too special there. And it honestly wouldn't surprise me if all the cars we got in the Los Santos Summer Special were just supposed to be like the drip feed ones that would have eventually come out in the Cops and Crooks update. Because all the cars sort of seem like random. It was just a couple supercars, sports cars. There wasn't any particular like summer theme or vibe to them at all. Uh, they just seemed kind of random like the drip feed ones we would get week after week in a normal update that would feature a handful of themed cars like police vehicles and, you know, government agency cars, stuff like that, which obviously would have been very, very fun. And then as far as the last part of it goes, why we see the Cops and Crooks mentions in the files, it's because Rockstar probably forgot. So think about it. For six to eight months, you're developing this update, which has thousands of lines of code that have to be put into GTA Online. And then you're told to get rid of all of that. There's a good chance that even if 1% sticks around, that's going to be kind of what we see right now, where we see the cubed minigame thing that says Cops and Crooks, where we see the new siren noises. So it's clear that Rockstar tried to get rid of almost every Cops and Crooks mention or feature, but it's also very obvious that they missed some, which is why we see them in the game right now. So I think the most interesting part about this entire thing is honestly how Rockstar is going to handle this next. Will they decide like the world just isn't ready for an update or a DLC like this at all and say, you know, guys, this stinks, but, you know, this isn't something we're going to be able to add into the game. Or is this something they're going to sit on? They're going to potentially wait for things to normalize, to have the world to return back to normal. Maybe when the game is out on PS5 and the new Xbox consoles, they say, OK, now is the, I guess, more appropriate time to add something like this into the game. So I would obviously love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. I know this is going to be a very discussion-heavy video. Uh, do you believe this is the real reason why the Cops and Crooks update was not added in Grand Theft Auto Online? And when do you think it will return, if it will return at all? Let me know what you guys are thinking in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and Red Dead Redemption videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well 
Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.